What's up, gang? It's Golden Gun, and I'm back with another Marvel Contest of Champions video. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing Kate Bishop's special three rotation. Quick disclaimer before we start this video, I want to let you guys know that this is not a video as intended to be a tutorial on how to use Kate. This is more or less a video for those who know how to use the basically how to use Kate, but just wanted to know what rotation to go with for higher health pool fights. So with that being said, this is also not a video showcasing a rotation that's going to be meant for content like um, Battlegrounds, where you got to get the champion down as quickly as possible, or for content that um, has lower health pool defenders in it. This is going to be a rotation, a video showcasing the rotation of Spe uh, Kate's special three rotation for higher health pool content like Abyss or Necropolis or for the, s the sake of this video we're hopping into the Labyrinth of Legends where there's a 3.3 million health pool Star Lord. So without further ado I'll go ahead and hop over here and um, hop right into this so what we're gonna be doing right from the gate, we're not gonna be doing the typical Kate Bishop gameplay. We're gonna be bypassing our special one, bypassing the special two. We're gonna go automatically to the special three. Trying to get there as quickly as possible and fire it. Why do we wanna get to the special three first? Because uh, one, for one, Special 3 automatically gives Kate Bishop a full T passive, which is going to increase the um, the critical damage that Kate Bishop does to specials and basic attacks. Also, what it does is it gives us a chance to also, if we get a perfect bonus to the 20% damage like I just did there, it's also going to give Kate Bishop a non-stacking precision passive. That's going to increase the um, the critical rate. So basically, she's going to be doing more yellow numbers, and those yellow numbers are going to be higher. Um, and then, as soon as we throw that special three, it's going to be a regular K Bishop fight. Once again, this is not a tutorial on how to use K Bishop, just a tutorial on how to get to her um, her high damage rotation by using the special three. You get the cruelty passive. You get the precision um, passive, and then you can keep those passive active the same way that you keep Kate's debuffs active. So by um, heavy and atta heavy attacking in the uh, and putting the defender in the corner, we set we start them as I just did. No, I did it right there. I think we got one coming here. So yeah, right here. Let's uh, get a, a shake in there. Get a heavy attack, put him into the corner, it, it restart. It's restarted the three um, cold snaps, and it restarted the precision and the cruelty um, passes on Kate. So by keeping the debuffs active, whatever it is that you need to do to keep the debuffs active, you also need to do that same thing to keep the uh, the precision and the cruelty um, passes. So from there, we're just basically building up the diva. As you can see, we're doing um, 12K per tick. And um, another thing to note is that um, Kate Bishop's um, debuffs, the amount of damage that they do per tick increases when you got the cruelty and you got the uh, precision pass and active on Kate. So this is gonna be making Kate do larger red numbers too. And as you can see, we're at 12K per tick. It really, that's 12K times two per tick. So well over 24,000 damage per second is being done to star lowers and red numbers by just keeping those debuffs active and by also keeping the um, cruelty and the precision from active. As I just restarted everything right there. We set everything right there. Okay, Bishop's sig ability, if you were wondering if it's needed, it's not needed, but it, it is very cool. It is very helpful, especially if you're newer. It helps to keep those um, debuffs on longer, and it helps to uh, pause them. So it, it helps to keep them on longer by pausing them. You pause the debuffs by hitting into the defender's block or by punishing the defender's special attack. 
Hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's going to wrap it up for now. Hopefully see you guys on the next one. Until then, make sure you guys take care of yourselves. Of course, I'm going to try to make sure y'all stay blessed as I get this plug back in. And peace out, y'all.